Now, I don't know where we're supposed to be, but it is definitely not here. It is dead-ended into these cows. Here's a little shot of the forest road that we're on. This is probably about the worst of the road that we've gone on so far. But there's been about 10 miles or so of gravel roads and dirt roads and this road which is very bumpy and unpaved and I think our GPS sent us to the wrong place. Well, I, it definitely sent us to the wrong place because we just <laughs> ended up at somebody's farm in a dead end. So It was weird. <laughs> we're going to see if we can find our way to the right place. But this has been an adventure. Well. We're still not sure exactly where we're going, except we're trying to get to a place called Big Slough Wilderness Road, which it would have made more sense for our GPS to take us to in the first place, since we're trying to get to the Big Slough Wilderness. Hey, so welcome back. After that little adventurous intro, we managed to find a friendly guy driving through uh, one of those dirt roads who stopped and told us where to go, and we have found the path. We are in Davy Crockett National Forest. Uh, it's about three hours southeast of Dallas, and we are starting our explorations here in the Big Slough Wilderness area. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, try again. <laughs> Alright, let's get you unstuck. Help. There you go. You're on hook.
So that is going to wrap up our adventure in uh, Davy Crockett National Forest. We went to Big Slough Wilderness as well as uh, Ratliff Lake Recreation Area and we're finishing here at what are the ruins of the Central Coal and Coke Company Sawmill which operated from 1902 to 1920 and uh, it's actually a gorgeous spot that I'm really glad we got the chance to see here before it got dark. And I wanted to finish as always with a poem. This one is from the book Tiger Tiger Burning Bright, Much Love Poems You Half Remember. And the poem is The Way Through the Woods by Rudyard Kipling. They shut the road through the woods 70 years ago. Weather and rain have undone it again. And now you would never know there was once a road through the woods. Before they planted the trees, it is underneath the coppice and heath and the thin anemones. Only the keeper sees that where the ring dove broods and the badgers roll at ease, there was once a road through the woods. Yet, if you enter the woods of a summer evening late, when the night air cools on the trout-ringed pools, where the otter whistles his mate, they fear not men in the woods because they see so few. You will hear the beat of a horse's feet and the swish of a skirt in the dew, steadily cantering through the misty solitudes, as though they perfectly knew the old lost road through the woods. But there is no road through the woods. <laughs>